let's have a chat now to writer and mum, Liz Fraser, regular commentator on this programme. Good to Good see morning. you this morning. Uh, so what do you think of this survey? Do you think it's right? I don't know if it's right or not. It's very sad, though. Do you see people not teaching their children these traditional nurseries? Well, my kids, one of mine's at secondary now, so oh, okay. yeah, we don't do a lot of that anymore. <laughs> but, you know, before, when they were little, I used yeah. to go to toddler groups. That's what you do when you're a mum and you're at sure. home. Well, you're a dad and you're home, so you go to toddler groups to tell each other how miserable you are. And one of the <laughs> things we do is we all sing nursery rhymes and you do all the incy you do all yeah. the actions and you row the boat yeah. and all this stuff. Um, to lose that, would obviously be tragic. Why is it important educationally? I mean, does it help children's no, development? No, that's the other thing, exactly. Now, educationally, it does. It really does. And music and language are actually very strongly associated. Mm. This has been shown to be the case. I don't know if you've heard about the Mozart effect, but there, is all, there was well, these Andrew, studies which were done. Andrew, was just telling us about the Mozart twinkle, effect. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. On. Yeah, well, we anyway, can have a discussion about great composers. What's the, what's the Mozart but, effect? Um, these are very simple, they're very simple melodies. They're repeated, sort of four bars, they're repeated and they're repeated. Mm. And you're, you're not singing nursery rhymes to seven-year-olds yeah you're singing them to basically babies yes. and one and two-year-olds and as you repeat it over and over again all these neural connections which is basically what's going on massively at that stage happen very quickly and my six-month-old daughter I remember she was six months old obviously couldn't speak at that stage she used to as she was rocking off to sleep she was humming three blind mice now that just tells really? you that that baby that's has not only learnt that song, but is repeating it back. Mm. And that's the beginning of language, actually. We've had and lots and lots of emails, important. actually, Great. on this, Liz. Uh, Anna Howell of Chichester, I can't say that properly, says, I've been singing Row, Row, Row Your Boat to my baby daughter mm. and doing the actions, which is this, right? Yeah. Uh, since she's been able to... <laughs> that's now, exactly since that, done. <laughs> she's been able to support her own head, and by doing the actions every day, she's learnt to pull herself up. So I suppose it's not just vocabulary, is it? She'll be in the 2010 Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. She's doing, yeah. doing yeah. chin-ups to row the boat. <laughs> but it is it is really important and there is obviously the bonding thing as well you know and it's a bit sad and you know I don't want to, it shouldn't be dad bashing in any way it's just mm. that dads are more likely probably not to be at home well, with children the they're words, just more than really really and some people find it embarrassing which is very sad to, to sit and sing with their child but there's nothing wrong with be. modern songs is there nothing wrong with singing along to songs maybe in the charts definitely not yeah we used to have well. a good groove we used to put some music on and dance definitely uh, and there's a definite place for that but get a nursery rhyme book and mm. see what you remember, because you remember a lot more. It does come back, as you were just doing with the crew here a few minutes ago, and, you know, they all eventually well, got there in the end, didn't they? Well, they, they never grew up, is what happened. <laughs> so, uh, that's where. This little piggy went to market, this little piggy stayed at home, this little piggy had corned beef, this right. little piggy had none. He had what? And this little piggy was a boogie-woogie piggy, <laughs> and he boogie-woogied all the I way home. I remember it was so a no. and Bournemouth. A slight variation. A slight variation. And why not update them? But they're important, and do, you know, from, from birth. From birth, we've got to be singing these songs, we've got to keep them live, and we've got to Engage teach them Engage with your children. Yeah. Thanks very much, Liz. Good to Thank see you. you.